A situation that really like flared up the imposter syndrome last year was I got invited, believe it or not, to go back to my old school in Loughborough to give an inspirational speech to the graduating class. What were they thinking? Asking me to go back to give an inspirational speech. I, just, I got the email, I just assumed it was the education system's biggest administrative error since Michael Gove was born. <laughs> But I, I said yes, it's good to talk to young women. It is young women at my old school. I went to a girls' school. I don't know how surprising that is. I'm very aware I, I come across as a massive virgin. <laughs> I do, I know I do, and I'm not even, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, it was rather boastful. But, um... <laughs> I did go back uh, because they said the reasons they gave in their email why they would invite me to give a speech are twofold. Number one, that I've had what they called, and I quote, an interesting career. An interesting career, which I think we can all agree makes me sound quite a lot like a high-level prostitute. <laughs> But the other reason the school said they invited me was because I'm a feminist. You know, when I am a feminist, of course I'm a feminist. Of course I am. I'm obviously a feminist. Who isn't? Who isn't? Who isn't? <laughs> I'll talk to you afterwards. <laughs> okay, no, but sometimes when we're talking about feminism, we're talking about different things. What I mean when I say feminism is this. Number one, you believe men and women are equal. Number two, you believe that equality hasn't yet been achieved. Number three, you want to do something about that. Number four, you want to be best friends with Tilda Swinton. <laughs> and number five, you despise all men. Now, I... <laughs> <laughs> That's a that is a joke. Obviously, that one is optional.